Hi, in this tutorial I want to show you how to do selective coloring or more correctly said selective desaturating uh, an image in GIMP because we are using a colored image and what I want to do is just keep this plant in color and this green background I want to desaturate. A lot of times people want to do this, let's say a woman take a picture of herself and uh, want the picture to be in black and white and then let's say just the scarf and the shoes are in color so this is what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial and this image was given to me by a friend of mine to use and uh, I will appreciate it if some of you submit images to me to work with in my tutorials you can go to the Facebook page link is in the description and contact me there so let's start here and first of all there are many ways to do this and uh, the first one is to go to the colors select this hue saturation tool and in this case select the yellow and desaturate it then I'm going to select the green and desaturate this too and I'm click OK and you see how quickly this image is ready let's undo and redo this to see the before and after you see that only the plant kept its color but this uh, method won't work in every image because first of all this tool in GIMP doesn't provide us with many options so sometimes if you have very similar colors uh, in the objects that you want to leave in color and the one that you want to desaturate this won't work that's why I'll show you here another tricks that you can use to achieve this effect now one of these tricks is to make a selection now I'm gonna put a link on the video right now to another video that is only about selecting if you want to learn how to select something like this and I'm gonna do something quick here grab this tool the selection now control I to invert it then go to select feather I'm gonna feather with just two pixels and then go to colors desaturate click OK control shift A to deselect and you see we have only this in color of course this wasn't very precise selection but it's one way that you can achieve this effect and uh, let's deselect this probably the best way is to use the eraser tool like I said if you have big similarities between the objects that you want to leave in color and the one that you want to desaturate you can use the eraser tool before that I'm going to duplicate this layer here and this one I'm going to desaturate and you can use lightness, luminosity, average I'll just click OK here and I'm going to add an alpha channel here go to the eraser tool make the brush bigger and just start painting over like this and of course on the edges we need to zoom in make the brush smaller and work like this and of course this will take a lot of time but um, it's the only way that you can achieve a good result if you don't have the ability to use this tool hue saturation if it doesn't work on your image and I'm not gonna do the entire plan here it will be boring and unnecessary you get how this trick works now another thing that you can use is let's undo this and here I'm going to add a layer mask select the brush tool make sure I have selected the layer mask and then start painting over 
this is basically the same thing with a brush you cover like this and uh, this uh, gives you the advantage to use some of the filters here for example you can use the Gaussian blur to achieve smooth transition here let's try this for a second filters blur let's find this over here you see how this can provide you a smoother transition let's click OK and this basically feathers uh, the pixels here so you get smooth transition between the cover and the desaturated part so that are the different methods you can use to achieve this effect so that's it for this tutorial and if it helped subscribe like the video bye for now